So I'm just uploading a video and I wonder if I can get it back up actually. So this is the thumbnail for the video. But when I just clicked on this, I was laughing because I stopped it somewhere, this bit. And Sam's literally like picking nits from my head. <laughs> If that doesn't sum up what we do on a daily basis, I don't know what does. A madness. But good morning, guys. It's what is Monday, isn't it? What time is it? I don't, I don't even know. Really know. I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's 7:47. So Sam's been awake since five. We had quite a traumatic experience last night, and there was like the biggest spider I've ever seen in England on Sam's side of the bed, and I didn't even realise that. Like, I was just pottering around the room, didn't see it. Sam walks in and was like, "What is that?" and we were trying to work out the best way to get rid of it and we debated chucking it out the window but we thought it's probably going to die when it hits the floor and also like if we just place it outside the window it'll just crawl back in again when we open it so Sam tried to squish it but as he tried to squish it it just kept running around the floor like half dead no I tried to pick it up and it like ran out the tissue <laughs> and it popped it literally popped and there's now a stain on our carpet. So RIP spider. I don't normally kill spiders, have to admit. I normally try and get them out of the house and just like not have them. But that's the first spider we've actually had in this house. I don't think we've had another one, have we? No, oh, we no, had that one. That we had one that we think it was on the sofa the other day. And we think what might have happened is when we've gone for a walk, it's been like on one of our clothes and we've not realized and it's fallen off. But it was like a little, it was only like this big, it was little. So that was one and then the one in the thing. But that's literally the only spiders we've had since living here. And I'm not gonna lie, compared to our old house, which was infested constantly, wasn't it? Like that house was awful. That's because we had the doors open a lot. Yeah, that house was bad. So it was really nice to not have many, but obviously we can't really, like you can't really run it down three flights of stairs to get rid of it. Like. It just isn't practical, so yeah, that was traumatic this morning, last night even. Today, I'm not really planning on doing very much, if I'm honest. I'm going to try and get some videos edited, so let me go chat to you in the bedroom because then I'm not annoying Sam. So I managed to, on Saturday night, get three videos edited. I wasn't planning on doing it, but I felt in the mood, so I thought I'm just going to get my camera out, my camera, get my laptop out and just start and edit it. Right, let me make the bed, this is going to drive me crazy. Okay, the bed is made. Today is just gonna be a day of like editing and stuff, I think, and just like getting bits done because I don't really wanna do my makeup and my hair and everything today, I just wanna chill. So I bought last night, I was chatting to my friend Sarah about it, and I bought the Happy Body Plan, which is basically like, so I was doing Shreddy, which is a fitness plan, and I like the concept of Shreddy, I like the app, but I find that the workouts aren't, like I don't feel like I've done anything and I'm never sore and I'm never noticing that much change even if I follow them for like five, six weeks. And that's kind of been the case the whole time and originally had the gym plan, which I found good, but I also found it a bit of a challenge because it's really hard to, obviously depending on the layout of your gym, it's really hard to know what's where and be able to like follow it in the order, like you have to flit around quite a bit. And then I re-downloaded it again when we went into lockdown and thought I would try the home workouts. For 9 99 a month, I thought, you know what, it must it's gonna be good. But I just haven't gelled with it. I found the workouts are really like, I'm not really like, it's timed and I find that to be the challenge because rather than being like, oh, do 20 of this move, it's like you get a 30 seconds and then a 15 second rest. And by the time you've readjusted in that 15 seconds, you're already five seconds into the workout and then you're just kind of like flapping and you don't really end up doing very much. So I don't really like it. Sarah had the same experience, also didn't really like it. And I've spoken to a few other people who've said the same. So I thought I would try the happy body plan, which is Alexandra, who was in Love Island a couple of years ago. She basically lost like loads of weight and she looks insane. Her body is amazing. Not saying that weight loss is something to aim for. Obviously everyone is perfect as they are, but her body is like so toned now and she looks amazing. So I've seen really good reviews online and a lot of people have been kind of praising it on YouTube and all that kind of thing. And loads of people have been saying how good it is. So I thought I'd give it a go. It's a 90 day plan, which is ambitious at best, but I figured that 90 days takes me to like August and chances are we're probably going to be in this situation near enough until then and it's literally just a 10 minute workout a day which I feel like I can definitely do a 10 minute hit a day 
and I'm gonna try and incorporate in running again because I keep saying I'm gonna run and I keep not doing it. So I'm gonna really, really, really try and get back into running every other day, if not every day, and just see if I can do it and then allow myself like one really long walk a day. So obviously with the new lockdown rules, we can go outside as much as you want. I guess that there's no, it's not like a limited time frame or anything. So I'm gonna go for a run this morning while Sam has a Skype call meeting thing. And then I think later on we're going to go on like a really, really long walk and we're going to go past, potentially go past a shop or take food with us and have like a little picnic kind of vibe in the park, which will be really, really nice. So looking forward to that if we do it. Obviously it might not, depends what we end up thinking about. But yeah, that's basically a random little waffle. I might kind of update you every now and then in the vlogs as how like fitness stuff's doing. But to be honest, I probably do a workout once or twice a week at best. Like, Mondays and Fridays seem to be the days that I actually get out and run. Other than that, I don't really go. And fitness-wise, I'm just... I find it really hard to be motivated. Like, getting up in the morning and just going for a run. The more I do it, the more challenging it becomes to get out and do it. And it's driving me nuts because I just want to go out and I just want to be able to just have that motivation to just get out the front door. But that's genuinely the hardest part of going for a run, is getting your bum out the door. But I'm going to enjoy my coffee now and stop talking. So I'm about to go for a run and I mentioned something on my Instagram stories the other day when I went for a run and so many people replied and were like, oh my God, why have I not thought of this? This is why I can't run in the summer. Like, I think a lot of people, especially now, have been finding it really difficult to run outside because obviously it's hay fever season and there's pollen in the air and it gets in your throat and it makes you feel like, I don't know for everyone, so I know everyone gets it slightly differently, but it makes me sneeze so much and it makes me feel like my throat is like smaller and I find it harder to breathe when I'm running. So like my times are worse, my overall like stamina and stuff just isn't as good, especially the last, I wanna say maybe like three weeks. So before I would be able to run a lot more and now I find that I get stupidly out of breath and I'm really like struggling. So I bought some hay fever tablets and I mentioned using them before you go for a run and like taking one because it obviously then helps to stop your like pollen flare up. And I had quite a few people say that they tried it and it worked really well. So I'm gonna do it. Apparently it helps with improving your times and stuff. So we'll see how much I end up being able to run, but it's only half eight and I'm gonna go now as much as I don't want to, because I think if I leave it any later in the day, then it's gonna be busy because, well not busy, but like it'll be busier than it is now because obviously people will be sat out. But also it's meant to be a scorcher today and it's gonna be quite warm. Well, I say quite warm. Anyone who doesn't live in the UK is not gonna think 20 degrees Celsius is warm, but for us, that is quite warm. So it's gonna be a warm one and I just wanna get out before I'm absolutely like melting in the heat. So I'm gonna take one of my little hay fever tablets now and yeah, hopefully I'll be fine. I think these are anti-drowsy, but they might not be. I'm like, I've got the drowsy ones. If these are the drowsy ones, they literally make me fall asleep. Yeah, may cause drowsiness. If affected, do not drive or operate machinery and avoid alcohol. <laughs> Great. Not that I'm gonna be driving or operating machinery today. How many do I take? One tablet once a day. Fine. Let's take one. I need a water though, nice. I remember last year my allergies got so bad. Like when we went to Parma, it was so like the pollen was so bad in this one particular restaurant that we were literally sat there and I couldn't breathe. Like I was just sneezing and sneezing and sneezing to the point where I was like in actual pain because I couldn't physically sneeze anymore. And my throat was like completely lined and I just couldn't, I just couldn't function. But even now, like I don't know if you can hear, but my voice is a little bit broken. Like <clears throat> it feels like there's like a phlegm build up. And that's what always happens when I get hay fever. And it's only happened in the last three years since I moved to London. Like when I didn't live in London and lived more in the countryside, I didn't get hay fever, but now I live in London, I do. Um, and I know a really good remedy is to have local honey because obviously local honey is made from local bees and that's the pollen. So it kind of like builds up your immunity to it. Apparently, I don't know if that actually works and if that's the scientific terminology for it, but I haven't done that. <laughs> I really hope this doesn't make me drowsy because I don't want to be falling asleep. Imagine I'm going to run and I'm like, guys, I can't do it now. But to be fair, I've said to myself, mentally, if I come out and I physically can't do it because it's too hot or I just can't be bothered, then I'm going to chuck a podcast on and just walk, basically. But I need to do something. That was quite a good run, not going to lie. I actually feel like I did pretty well. And I think I did like a quite good time too, which is always nice but taking hay fever tablets definitely helps because it meant that I could breathe slightly better than normal and 
I was actually laughing because when I got back I sent my mum my thing, like the stats, and my running stats was like, my heart rate didn't come below like 160 or something the entire time. I was just laughing so much, so I was like, this is just... <laughs> That is a lot, but um, yeah. Now I'm gonna sit editing for the day. I've got coffee with me. I've just had a little smoothie, which is really good. We've got loads of bananas that need using up. And sometimes when bananas start going funny, I don't like eating them, but I don't mind chucking them in like a smoothie or something. So yeah, it's time to sit and do some edits and stuff. I also need to clear my inbox because I think there's quite a few emails that have built up over the last couple of weeks. Boring clip 101. <laughs> The pair of tees was fab for my run, not so fab for my afternoon. I've literally spent the last like hour editing like this and using one hand <laughs> because I'm so sleepy. And obviously the pair of tees is not anti-drowsy, so it does make you a bit snoozy, which most hay fever tablets do. Really, I should have gone for a non-drowsy one, but I just went for pair of tees because I know it works. But for my run, it was fab, so I'm going to continue using... You could just eat a coffee or something, but I'm getting on with some edits. I'm really, really trying my absolute hardest not to get Animal Crossing out because I desperately want to play it, but I can't fall into a hole where I just play Animal Crossing all day every day and don't do any work. I've also been asking around on my... Well, that's bright. I've also been asking around on... Inst well, I say around. I've been asking on Instagram stories about what you guys prefer for stories because I know a lot of you also follow me on Instagram if you don't my Instagram is just Copper Garden but I know some people prefer like talking videos some people prefer lots of pictures some people like hauls um some like a lot of kind of productivity it, it really depends like the answers are so different from every single person so I'm really intrigued actually what vlog wise you like seeing do you like me chatting a lot do you like seeing what i'm cooking what i'm wearing do you like seeing or hearing about films we're watching like what is it that you really like watching about my vlogs like what is it that keeps you coming back to the vlogs every single time we upload because i would love to know i know quite a few of you really like me and sam together in them because you think he's hilarious and i don't blame you but if we actually spent more time in the same room he'd probably be in them more but <laughs> during the day we don't tend to really spend time together because we just can't work in the same room, we're too distracting, so we end up having to work in separate rooms. <laughs> we end up having to work in separate rooms. Like, I was working in the living room earlier when you were upstairs and you came in the living room and I just couldn't work. You haven't really worked today, to be fair, just a bit. Yes, like, I have, that's really that's No, I haven't. I haven't. That's <laughs> that's that's complete. Complete. The frames are going to fall off the wall and hit me on the head again. Basically, in our old house, I had um, this picture rail above my bed with three frames on it. And we had the windows open the one day and Sam was sat there on his phone and I was showing him, I literally vividly remember, I was showing you my new boots because I just bought the Gucci boots and Sam was sat there and the frames, I kid you not, in slow motion, like the slowest motion you've ever seen in your life. You disagree, but I literally, no, I can still, motion. my photographic memory, motion, they literally went like this and they all three hit him on the head. I know they happen like that because I even clocked your reaction be before it happened. I'm gonna find the clip and not the clip, sorry, the Instagram story frame of when they're all on top of him and I'll put it on the screen because it's so, I wish we'd have had a time lapse or something going at the time, but I wasn't vlogging then. Cause that was when I didn't do my daily vlogs and stuff. I just did my hauls and whatever. But oh, it was so funny. It was so, so, so funny. Yeah. And they were like big frames as well. So they were like this kind of size. They weren't mini. They were quite hefty. Beams. Like, and you laughed, you still laughed about it now, you literally watched it happen. Because I had time to clock your reaction. So I'm lying on the bed like Jess is now, and she was stood in the door, or not here. No, I wasn't stood in the door. I was sat on the bed showing you my Gucci boots. You weren't sat on the bed. Sam, I was. I was when? sat on the bed showing you I my Gucci you boots. I no. Jessica, the door. I was sat on the you yeah, were you sat were. by the headboard i was, I was sat on the other end of the bed yeah and then she I, like, I i just watched her face and she was like <sighs> in slow motion and i was like what and then all of a sudden it just hit me on the head which <laughs> thanks jessica maybe that's why you're with me because you got a concussion and it made you realize your absolute love for me don't go that far <laughs> <laughs> but also i do think that People like to see me in the vlogs. I think us together is quite funny though, because when you're just one person on your own, it's a bit boring. Yeah, that's why I find my vlogs really boring. But you never asked me to be in them. Jess, every time I get the camera out, you're like, don't put me in. 
only when it's like 10 o'clock at night and I'm half asleep on the sofa wearing my dressing gown for the billionth time that in day. In the vlog that went up Sunday, so I was editing it and on two occasions you're like, don't put me in it. And then within like probably 10 seconds you end up jumping in it anyway or you're like, fine I'll be in it now. Because you put me in when I've got a mouthful of food before and I don't like it. Sam has a habit of when I'm eating, just like put, he's done it like three or four times. I'll have like a mouthful of burger or something and he'll put the camera on me, which is really unflattering. Just mute you. Stop it, because you're making, he's got the remote that goes to my phone it's for taking made. pictures it's and it's, it is, I think the battery's died. It's basically a little remote for taking pictures with your phone. But yes, I'm going to continue editing. Sam just joked about the frames falling off the wall, but they literally sound like they're about to fly off. They're rocking all over the show, especially that little one there. It's just having an absolute party on the wall. So the next clip could be me with a massive hole in my head because one's hit me. <laughs> it's only six, but Sam's actually just had some dinner and I'm just making myself something now because he wanted sea bass and I'm just not a big fan. So I'm actually making up a red lentil dal, which is something that we have We've had it twice now, haven't we? And it's quite good. And it's from this cookbook, which is the five ingredient vegan. I picked this up in all the bonus and it's really good. I haven't tried that much from it yet. And to be honest, like I've said in other videos, I'm not strictly vegan, but I just think their recipes are really good sometimes. And it's a really good way for trying different foods because it's so easy to get caught in the trap of like just having chicken and stuff all the time. So it's a good way to kind of use and learn of different ways to use veggies. I've actually chucked in some corn pieces today, which I don't normally do. And I'm gonna have it with some tender stem broccoli as opposed to rice. It's a two screen kind of day today. We've got the laptop and the computer on the go. Have not been for a run this morning. I got a bit too ambitious yesterday and I've pulled my IT band apparently. I basically put it on my Instagram stories and said that I'd hurt the outer side of my knee and apparently that's more than likely what I've pulled. So it's in a support, I need to ice it. And loads of people have been saying foam roller it but we don't have a foam roller and I feel like there's not really an equivalent you can use so Today is a no workout day for me, which I'm completely fine with. I'm sat with my Biscoff and enjoying it very, very much. But I'm getting on with some edits and then we're going to go food shopping later. And Sam's going to film a couple of videos and stuff, I think. So, yeah, we're going to do our food shop tonight. And I'm, yeah, I don't really know this about it. <laughs> I just did a whole clip and I just don't really know what I was talking about. So here's another one. Um... I'm sat editing this morning, as I've just mentioned. Sam is over here, sat on the other side of the desk. I can't really see him. I can only see the top of his head, which actually makes me laugh because when we're sat here, like the one thing we thought when we got this desk was like, we'd annoy each other more, but because we can't really see each other, it's just become a game of like popping our head over and being like, hello there. <laughs> but I'm getting some stuff done. Then I think I'm going to, I don't really know what I'm gonna do today. We need to do some washing and stuff, I think, but. Basically, we have a weird, like, funky smell that comes out of our washing machine because our washing machine is in a cupboard right there, which is, like, halfway up the stairs. Very random. But for some reason or another, since we moved in, it gets this really funky smell, like the drain's blocked, and there's never really been a time where we've been able to put drain cleaner through it and fully sort it out. So that's what we did this morning. And we basically just are trying to get rid of whatever's in there that's blocking it and making it smell because chances are, like, renting in London, I feel like... In fact, renting anywhere, chances are it's probably not been cleaned for quite a few years because our landlord hasn't lived in this flat for 16 years, which is how long he's been renting it out. So I very much doubt in that 16 years people have cleaned that through. I'm gonna carry on editing with my coffee and my Biscoff, which is just sat right here. Literally so shocked. So as I'm filming this, I've just uploaded the 19th isolation vlog, which is crazy that I have uploaded 19 vlogs since this has been going on. And I know I've got another four or five to edit after this. Can you go? Oh, my knee. I did yours. I don't, my knees as well was clicking. In there. Your knee's I'm clicking. Saying. Sam, I've literally pulled my whole side of my knee. I can't walk. Oh, don't start limping. <laughs> I actually can't walk on it properly. Going down's fine. It's coming up. All right, let me go grab this parcel. It literally is like going down a healthy skelter in our house. Delivery Ooh. item on another day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks very much. All right. See you. 
we have a little parcel for me. I think I know what this is, but I'm not sure. And technically it's under embargo till the 22nd, but this will be up after the 22nd anyway, so I can show you. God, those stairs never get easier. Okay, I can show you one of these, but the other one is till the 5th of June, so I can't show you that one, which is this. So I can show you this. This is um, a Marc Jacobs lifting and volumizing mascara. And I actually have Marc Jacobs mascaras that I've used for so long. And their other one, which looks like this, is the best one I've ever used. Like genuinely, whenever I get complimented on my lashes when they're natural, this is normally what I've used and it's so good. So this is the new one. Oh, uh -huh. I mean, it's all going on. It's not even in focus. Everything's happening right now. She just threw a photo frame at me. No, I didn't, it fell over. Dramatic as always. Says so the one limping out the room. You were limping yesterday pretending you'd hurt yourself. No. Don't you, start you with me. You hurt me. Don't you stop. Don't, Don't you me. stop. But as I was saying, this is the mascara. The packaging is beautiful. It's like a really nice gold and black stripe, obviously with Marc Jacobs on it. And then it's like a more precise kind of brush. So it's just like a more fine bristled, it's like a texture brush, but finer. Does that make sense? It looks like it's gonna be really good. And had I not already got makeup on, I'd give it a try now. But I have a Zoom event for this and the other product on I think Wednesday or Thursday this week so very excited for that because it means I'll get to kind of learn about the product as well and sometimes with beauty launches I love learning about them because I think if it's coming from an expert they kind of teach you how to get the best out of products and stuff and also like more about the formulations and stuff behind it. I've been to the shop I had to run to the post office to post a few bits because I'm basically waiting for printer ink to turn up so I couldn't do the courier pickup service. And it was really nice. It was really nice to be outside and just like out in the sunshine. I'm back. I had a good little walk. I wore my little shorts and stuff, which was the best outfit because it's nice and hot outside. I have now got my little knee support back on, which is very fetching. And I'm sat watching some TV and I'm about to edit some videos because Sam is filming upstairs. So he's doing like a wardrobe clear out kind of video i'll leave it linked because i feel like it's probably something that some of you might want what might want to watch giving like different tips and tricks i actually picked up the vlog to talk you through something so basically i was just chatting on my instagram stories about how my roots look really dark at the moment and i got onto the topic of like hair growth and i feel like my hair has definitely grown recently it looks really long at the moment and even though i've kind of always worn it straight sometimes i feel like now particularly it just looks really long like it looks like it's sprouted about this much in the last like few months which I'm completely fine with, but I swear when I got it cut, it was like here, and that was in November. So it's grown quite well, considering I've had it cut a few times and stuff. I'm really impressed with it. I'm loving it. I think it's doing really well, and I'm really proud of my little hair sprouts for sprouting quickly. <laughs> I best get on with some editing. I've also got a little banana shake, because why not? Why not? I'm not hungry, but I fancied like something, so I thought that was probably the best thing to have. And I'm very much resisting the temptation to play Animal Crossing right now because I can see my Switch. I just know that I need to get work done before I play it. So I'm gonna get another couple of videos edited because I'm Speedy Gonzalez today and I'm just getting it all done. Just made a really random late lunch because I didn't have any lunch. So I just had two of the vegan hex sausages with some tender stem broccoli and I put brown sauce over it. It literally was just the most pointless random little lunch, but I wanted to use up the tent stem and I found the sausages when I was looking for a pita bread to have pita and hummus and I thought sausages and broccoli was a little bit better for me than having just <laughs> pita and hummus. I'm going to make myself a coffee because I think it's about four o'clock. Yeah, it's quarter past four and we're heading to the food shop I think probably in about an hour's time. So I'm just waiting for Sam to finish editing upstairs and then I think we're going to get going. But I've made a list of roughly what I want to get for like my lunches and dinner and stuff. And then Sam, I think, is gonna probably have a few bits too because we tend to eat different lunches because I don't really like like sandwiches and stuff, whereas Sam likes having like sandwich thins with like chicken and stuff. And I tend to have like soup or whatever. So we always just pick our own random lunch bits so that we don't have to worry about that and we can kind of just eat whenever. And then dinners, for the most part, we eat together. Or we'll, like, we always eat together to be fair, but sometimes we cook separately. So like he'll cook, like for example, last night he had sea bass and then I had the little dal thing, which I actually forgot I still have in the fridge. But um, yeah, that's basically today. Oh my God, I'm suffering so much. So I had Ben and Jerry's last night and look at this bloat. I don't know if you can even see. Let me try and like, can you see this bloat? Like this is solid bloating. 
I don't actually know how well you can see it. It's solid and it's so painful. So whenever I have dairy, this is basically what happens and it's my own fault completely, but it's really sore and it doesn't go away. It's just very, very uncomfortable. It will probably go in like two or three days, but for the meantime, it's uncomfortable. I'm having so much peppermint tea and I've been taking like my probiotics and I take Simprove every morning. And Simprove is basically like a liquid probiotic and you basically just take a shot of it. And it tastes like mango and passion fruit. But to be fair, it doesn't actually taste like mango and passion fruit. That's the flavour, but it's kind of like... It kind of tastes like Activia if you've ever had that or like, you know, the typical like morning drinks where they've got a bit of orange in them, like that kind of thing. But that actually really does help and it reduces like the discomfort because it is so crampy. Like since I've just had lunch now, my stomach is literally going like this and it's really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. But do you know what? It's my own fault. I had... Ch I chose to have Ben and Jerry's last night and I chose to get cookie dough and not get a vegan one. Well, actually, they didn't really have a vegan one there, but I could have just not got ice cream. But I did. And I also bought Biscoff and I crumbled the Biscoff into the ice cream and ate it and it's so unbelievably good. And then we also had chocolate orange squares. Not squares, it's chocolate orange chunks. And then, yeah, it's a very, very good snack. Very good snack. But, um, I'm trying to be a bit better today and I'm trying to make healthier choices because... I know I do eat healthy for the most part but I am the worst for snacking and I eat a lot like I could eat about 10 times a day and me and Sam were laughing yesterday because we were saying we're just such bad enablers to each other because we'll both say we want to be healthy and then one of us will decide on snacks and then we'll both get snacks and then we'll end up with like 10 different things when we went into the shop for like biscuits like literally yesterday we went in for a pack of biscuits and we came out with two tubs of ice cream some squares which are like the rice krispie treat bars um some chocolate oranges and some biscuits <laughs> Do you know, I feel like we just need snacks in our house all the time. With that being said, I'm off to make a coffee because I'm yawning and I want to get one in before we head to the shop and I've got a video exporting, so I think I do that. <laughs> oh, my stomach is just hurting so much. Oh, I'm like burping and hiccuping at the same time. <laughs> Attractive. <laughs> 